I'm excited. It is Friday and we are off to another tournament. What's up, buddy? Hey. Dude, this does not look like what I saw on the website. Yeah, there's like all the beds that we made. It's like a Game Boy on the bed. So who's all coming? Me, you, Santa, Coach, and then David. It's almost just here, bro. Jeez Louise. Here, all right, let me call. Hi, this is Greg. I just checked into the uh, Airbnb. Okay, thank you. He sounded nice. He's calling housekeeping right now. What's up? Ah, good to see you. Good to see you. Airbnb is a little underprepared right now. Hey, coach, you're looking slim. That's good. Look at my titties. Hi, <laughs> buddy. Uh, I want to go get beer. What let's just do? go. It's right there. Go when he up. shows up, we just come back. <laughs> Cheers, fellas. Dude, we always do this to Terrence. We like leave, and then he just shows up all confused. Yeah, baby, baby, so. Thank you, baby. Sorry. Oh, Terrence is here. We just squared up. Now we get to start a new tag. I'll pay for this one. Oh, this guy's 27 beers. Right? Come on. Right. Hello, friends. Fall is starting. It's freaking hot down here. Yeah. Back at Lake Tulloch. Gambler Series. Last regular season event. Angler of the Year. I'm tied with Abel. Santa, 779. Michael Ensign, fourth place. That ain't bad. Yeah, no. You're Remember, we got one more tournament. Close. We got the TOC. Cheers, Cheers boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. That's interesting. Definitely not 14 inches. I think these fish are gonna be kind of hard to catch in general. Oh no, I had a giant follow it. I see him right there. Uh, one even 14 inches. That kind of confirms it though. A lot of these fish that I think are catchable are out suspended Jason Bay. 1033, tournament's half over. I'm assuming it's tough for everyone else. I have zero inches obviously, zero fish. Oh wow, Joseph is crushing them. But other than that, it looks like it's pretty dang tough. Oh. Yes, blind cast a drop shot. No skunk. That's good. Like I said though, this is that funky time of year where I think as the day progresses, you're gonna see more largemouth kind of move up shallow. Let's keep it. Oh my god, he's got me wrapped right in the post, please. Oh my god, we needed that one bad. <sighs> Number two. Number three, baby. Come on, last minute heroics. 13.75, are you kidding me? Oh, wait. Maybe 13 and change probably, yep. It's 2.30. Whew, I am smoked. Day one, Gambler Series Telic is over. Let's talk about day one. Day one. Day one, it was struggle. Brutal. God, it was tough out there, except for two people. Two people crushed it. I don't think they're fishing this lake. Third place, it's truly. Oh. Woo! I am in seventh. Mr. Michael, you're in 19th with one fish. <laughs> you guys are tied. We're tied. Going into day two. Yeah, battle. It's a battle for <laughs> losers. I don't know what this is going to do to the AOI standings, but it's definitely going to mix it up a little bit. I would say it was a very brutal day. Good news, though. We're going home. Well, tomorrow after the tournament. <laughs> Got to cheers to Santa. Third place, day one. Good job, Santa. Good job, Santa. Good job, Santa. Cheers to Santa. Good job, Terrence Sullivan. Ah, uh, dude, I'm sore. Why does it hurt so bad to kayak fish? Do you think know. bass boat dudes are sore? I don't think so. It's just oh my god, they are so good. All right, folks, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of YouTube Cribs. <laughs> yeah, we are going to start this video off with a little house tour, camper tour, property. Yeah. As you guys saw in the previous video, Yakabass Gambler Series last regular season event, Lake Tulloch. Stingy, real stingy. Tough oh. for the crew, except for old Santa Claus. Dude, it was tough for him, but he did a good job. I'm really proud of Santa. He's had some good tournaments this year. Really. I agree. Well, he's just the kind of dude that could sit there and enjoy what he's doing, and I'm just beating myself up in my brain the whole time. You think too much. Yeah. No, it's stingy on Tulloch. Four limits of the entire field <laughs> for day one. It's Saturday night. We're here at the Knights Ferry Campground, Airbnb. We're gonna yeah. look at some positive parts of the property and some opposite of positive parts of the property. You know why? It's not bad. I'm, I'm... I don't think we're gonna be allowed to come back. Really? Oh yeah, for the uh, the, the deleted scenes from last time. Yeah. 
I think our Knights Ferry campground stays. Nothing we did. Are behind us. I didn't do anything. I didn't either. I was just trying to help a friend. That's another story. But it's a funny story. Not really. It may surface one day. We're very tired. Truthfully, I think we went to bed at, I want to say it was 2.45, and we got up at 3.30. Everyone's going to want to know what happened. Um, we're solid people and was looking for a lost soldier. We'll leave it at that. But anyways, let's just get right into it. Let's the, go. Uh, oh, there's a fly in my Ultra Vase. Oh, yeah. Airbnb Damn tour. It. Oh, yeah, Ultra Vase. They're the best. Yes. That's good stuff. It's incredible. Sierra Nevada bringing this back was a very smart move. All right, let's start in the parking lot. Well, no, let's start. I mean, I had some things I wanted to show off here. Okay, but yeah, we yeah. can go. Let's know. go to the parking lot. Whatever you want, sir. Um, Hi, Santa. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I fixed the door. Thank nice. you. Nice work. Okay. So we'll start off here. This is where you park. Oh, Greg likes to park. As you can see, these nice people in the fifth wheel here. This is their parking. Well, I should to, probably move They forward. actually have to go under Greg's kayak <laughs> to get the Hyundai Electra. In Remind there. me to pull forward. Jeez. He's very kind and outgoing. He's always thinking about other people. And then uh, we have one of Greg's rat nest cords, as usual. Come over here. Let's look at this. I tucked in under this. this thing. I, I don't know why that's dripping because it hasn't rained. Because we just showered. Yeah, but that's the gutter, bro, from uh, the roof. That's creepy. All right, let's go this way. This is where the Black Widows live. Now, where I'm from, this is called state-of-the-art plumbing. Flex hose down some two by fours and some speed block all the way down to the poop tube. Come check it out this way. It's also known in Markleyville as the Tunnel of Love. It goes right down here. It's outdoor plumbing, but not really. It's pretty nice. And then it goes right down here. It's pretty cool. And if you guys need any, well, I don't know why they left all this mulch for us. I think they want us to do yard work, but there is a wheelbarrow full of mulch we could use, which is nice because we could use some ground covering here. You can see they started here, but quit. Um, and then here's some more cool ground covering. You always want bags of ground covering around just in case, I don't know, you want to cover something up. It's a plus. Here's the rest of the parking. We're out in the road. We'll probably get T-bone tonight. Here's Griggs. Look how clean that is. Yeah. Look at yeah, Look at that. It's nice. Dude. It's a good job. I'm working right. on it. So this is the charging area. This is where we charge our kayaks to go catch no fish at all. Actually a nice shady spot to hang it out. It is a though. nice little shady spot. We have some stuff over here that's pretty cool. Yeah. So this is the outdoor kitchen where you and all your friends can have some Black Widows. I like the barbecue Black Widows. Oh, and this is a fence for huge animals. They can't get through here, but they can get through here. And there's a ripper in the back. I think that's a sewer. Oh. I'm not certain that that's a river. Gotcha. Let's go inside and take a peek. All right, the juice. Yeah. Watch your step. You just start front to back, I guess. Let's go in here and check it out. What do we got? Uh, what do we got over here? Oh, there's some cool stuff over here. I don't know, if, like, is there trailer contractors out there? Or what's going on? But there's some weird patches up here that looks like they're not finished. Oh, hey, coach. How are you doing? Hey. How are you? Good. Uh, what else we got? This is your bedroom. That's my bed, yes. Right there. Charging it's, station. Yeah, it's charging station. Uh, a wardrobe, if you will. Your army bag. Yeah, I don't want people to see it. Got the camouflage. This is David's bedroom, right? Yeah, he's got the short bed. You got a coffee situation. Where's the carrot? Oh, there's a the carrot. It only works for one cup. It needs a jet bowl, which is fine. What about the fridge? Oh, the fridge is nice. What was cool is when we showed up, other people's food and stuff was in here. That was the coolest part. But so, right now, we've retroed it out. There is somebody's tuna from previous visits. Nice. If you guys are hungry at home, you can have it. Don't know why. This is Greg's room. Yeah. It's uh, comfortable. It's about, yeah, it's nice for two children. Oh, what else we got? If you can't find the backing, just keep shooting nails in. You'll find it eventually. Poker table's right here. Played poker last night. Yeah, it's nice. So this is pretty cool. Maybe we should just get one and someone should just haul it around for our tournaments. We like, talked about this seven years ago. Oh, yeah. There's somebody's bed. That's well, if they roll over on their shoulder, they're probably going to get pinned in there. We'll have to call the fire department to get them out. All right, that's good. Um, this is Terrence's room. Oh, that it's actually nasty. pretty nice. Jeez. It's all cool. He's got hella pillows. This, this is, is why he did so winning. good Dang. today. He had a good night's sleep in this beautiful room. Wow, look how large this bed is. It's like the whole trailer is right here. Bathroom? This is, oh yeah, this is a nice place. The bathroom's key. It's a bathroom. Ugh, it stinks of gray water. This is cool. Check yeah. this out. It's like a float. Dude, let's leave here. It's nice. It's like a float. Hold on, wait. Hey, I gotta turn on the shower. <laughs> Ugh, it stinks. Pretty nice. All right, so we gotta get one of these for the next tournaments. Oh, well, that's it, I guess. That's all we got here at the humble uh, dark horse abode. But it beats sleeping in the truck. Doesn't it or no? Yeah, it beats sleeping in the truck. I don't know, it's like the little creature comforts. There's creatures here. Yeah, there is creatures. 
we uh, enjoy it here. It's uh, it's unique. That's the word. It's unique. It's very unique. unique. So if you're ever into like a, a rustic slash homeless vibe, and this is a great place to do it. Oh, jeez. It's uh, not bad. It's not bad. It's semi true. Pretty simple. That's good. I appreciate you getting this room for us, by the way. You're welcome. It's, it's nice. not all bad. It's not all bad. Ultra vets. <laughs> the gray water smells good in the shower right now if you guys want to go get a whip. <laughs> It stinks. Michael, tomorrow, mm. day two. Day two. Prediction? I'm gonna skunk. You're gonna skunk. No. <laughs> Terrence no is gonna win. catch 140. I hope Terrence inches. wins. I do too. Terrence, we hope you win. Yeah. What if I Me? catch 104 yes. inches? Oh, now you got that. And Pula not by how and much? Silva catch how many? 70. What'd you get today? 18. It could have happened. 18 inches? Yes. I got 15, bro. I think, I'm honestly. I'm gonna kick your ass. Right, Those are four limits? It's on. Let's come up with four? something. Catch There's only gonna giant. be three tomorrow. Nothings. So if you get a limit tomorrow, are your guaranteed top three. You mean, wait, hold on. Limits tomorrow. Or sorry. Cool. Yeah, when all is said and done this weekend, there's only going to be three people that get limits both days. So if okay. you can get a limit tomorrow, you'll get third at least. Too bad you don't win anything for third. I know. AOY points. Is he going to beat me? He made up yeah, a lot of ground today. Wasn't he like 15 is, back? Does AOY even have a gift? Yeah, it's just bragging right. No, you no, it's a, it's a trailer. You're dude. right. It's a $5,000 trailer. Yeah. I'm going to sell it to uh, Aldi. Dude, why wouldn't you just use it? I will. I don't like when you yell at me. Right. I will. <laughs> Dinner time? Yeah. Let's yeah. go eat, dude. I'm ready. Yeah, let's go eat. Alright, yeah. let's go. Let's go crush some food. Here we go, folks. We had about a 30 minute run to the spot where I saw a school of giants tucked away back in this cove. The problem is they just would not eat. I saw those fish yesterday, yeah, about 10.30, I want to say. I figured we'd hit them first thing in the morning, see if we can trick it. Just maybe one of them would be worth it. And then go from there. New day, need five fish today, you need five. The only thing we caught them on yesterday are the three keepers we caught were on drop shot. right now biting gotta filter those out but it is a dock fish yesterday the only thing we got on pattern wise was at the end of the day last couple hours caught two of our three keepers on docks with a drop shot i didn't know if maybe they'd be on the docks this morning or if they'd have to wait till that sun got up but we'll certainly try it Dinkers. Yeah. Oh my god, look at the size of that. Oh my gosh. That is massive. Dude, that felt like a 12 inch bass. Just for kicks, let's see how big this bluegill is. I mean, he's gotta be. Ten and a half inches. Man, that's a dinner plate. Jeez, that was a big fish. Wrong species. Oh, there's a bluegill under the docks. Jeez, turn into another bluegill. Kind of feels like it. Oh my god, it is. Are you kidding me? What the heck? That is crazy. I'm on the bluegill pattern. Oh. Little 
bigger, but not going to be 14 inches. one of those 13 and a half. Ah, uh, Look what he spit up. It's like a little goby or something. Yeah, yeah that ain't gonna do it. 13 and a half. Caught a couple of these yesterday. Nah, not even. 13. Jeez. So hard to get a 14 incher. Yeah, there goes the rear camera. It's time to get some new cameras. Please be 14. No! God dang it! I don't know. It didn't feel huge, but it would have had the potential to be a keeper. And another random cast. On a point. I don't know if they're sitting there or if I'm just going by. Fish that are swimming around, schooling up. God, how's it already been three hours? These days go so fast. That's 14. Come on, baby. 14 inches. That's a key fish right there. Come on to the net. Thank you. 14 inch, baby. That's what we needed. Ooh. I think he's going to be barely 14. Yeah, he's 14. Thank you, sir. Oh, man, it feels good. Get the skunk out the boat. All right, thank you, sir. Number one, baby. Just get five. Just get five. Just get bit. That's all. I, that's what I really need to focus on is getting bit. some fish doing this kind of fishing the grass in like 15 foot a little bit more of a consistent bite doing this Uh, 
13 and a half. Son of a gun. Darn it. 13 and a half. Maybe only 13. Yeah, only 13. Way smaller than I even thought. short dang come on now guys just get bigger man all the same size yeah. i don't know not very productive how's it going Tell me about it. Holy smokes. Are you them? <laughs> Shorts. I got one 14 incher. That's it. It's ridiculous. I know. I don't really get it. I've seen some good fish, but they won't bite. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh. See, I ran into the same size fish. Yeah. The ones that you did get a bite. I know. That 14-inch minimum is killing me. Except these aren't even 12 inches, I don't even think. All right, man, good luck. Well, there must be a big wad of them right there. It's a lot of bites of that same little cast. Why can't you guys be 14 inchers? I really don't know what to do. We're getting big, but clearly it's all kind of the same size fish. So part of me feels like I should just leave this. I'm wasting time, but you never know too. There could be a couple of good ones hanging out there. This is where I caught that one 14 and a quarter. It's kind of fun, a little uh, confidence booster, but just not going to add to the scoreboard. Let's uh, do a midday report or midday standings. Actually, we're in the same position we were yesterday at this time. Halfway through the day, one keeper. I'm assuming it's tough for everybody else. Yeah, so the only two people that have even submitted, well, actually, that's not true. I'm not even seeing many fish submitted at all. One big limit leading, and Pua's right behind him. Terrence doesn't look like he's caught a fish yet. I mean, people might be sandbagging, but I would imagine it's just as tough, if not tougher today. I don't know. It's getting pretty warm. Got a decision to make. Can continue to kind of fish this deeper grass, or I can make my way and start fishing docks, seeing if these fish are getting under them. Four more hours to catch four more 14 inch fish. You wouldn't think it's that tough. was gonna happen as soon as he started looking up towards the sky oh. no. I was like here he goes oh man cannot be losing fish that was a 14 incher cannot be losing 14 inchers how does that happen well it wasn't a dock fish but that's an area I fished earlier and obviously didn't get bit it makes me think that maybe there's some more fish quality largemouth moving up now sliding up under the docks getting shallow gotta keep going with this drop shot I think and get lucky and land on one and of course put it in the boat 
man, oh man. That one, that was a big fish blowing up on bait right there. right there wow okay good one Let's measure you quick and get back in there <laughs> 18 inch it's good fish right there good fish right there Green pumpkin flatworm. Wonder if that little bait fish. I don't even know what that was. It's like it looked like a goby. I don't even think there's goby in these fisheries, but kind of had like that brown color to it. So maybe this flatworm is looking like what's on the menu. Oh, oh, oh. yep. Oh, there's one way too. Come here, come here. Spots. Spots. Yes. 14 inch. That's why I lost that one. There's one with it. Man, that's where I lost the largemouth. Oh, you know what? He's gonna be close. I think he's gonna go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, he's, he should go 14. He should. It's gonna be close. Come on, buddy. I need you to touch 14. Oh. No! No! Oh, maybe! Nope. Dang it, I can't get him to go. So close. So close. I thought that was number three.
I'm at a weird spot right now. I'm to the point where I either could go back, turn around, and fish the areas that I did this morning, kind of making mental notes of all the areas I caught fish and areas that were productive, or we could continue on, cover new water, kind of roll the dice like we did yesterday, which did pay off with two keepers under docks, but we wouldn't go there. We'd try some new stuff. I don't know. We got about an hour and 40 left. Might as well roll the dice and go with the ladder, right? inch minimum you know that just that one feels short it's got a little more meat to it no this ain't gonna do it man no not even close i got real excited that that was our number four left we were running out of time i think i need one more fish to get a top five and that's really the ultimate goal for the angler of the year race stay in contention going into toc the top five is what i was shooting for i think i'm one keeper away one 14 inch away from the top five gotta play my last minute heroics card Two thirty. that is it folks oh man day two last regular season event for the gambler series over we just had the toc left and another day didn't come in with a limit got three keepers just like yesterday really wish i could have got a fourth and ideally a fifth but man it's been a grind such a tough weekend of fishing i mean tulloch fish so stingy this weekend i mean the results will probably show it i mean i know it was tough for me i'm sure it was tough for everyone else but yeah not exactly what we're looking for hopefully we don't fall too far down into the standings with the TOC left and the AOY at stake. Anyways, let's head in, load up, and we'll recap this thing. We suck. What do you want to know? <laughs> Three day total, four fish. It's pretty good. Oh man. Well then I feel better I got six. <laughs> Santa, Michael, Santa. Yeah. just us three. Coach left. 
Because he's a loser. Uh, and always will be a loser. Well, we're not winners. <laughs> no. I said he'll be a loser. He's got a lot of company because we're losers as well. Yeah. Dude, all losers. Hospital efficient losers. Yeah. Oh, man. Tough it's day. It's hot as shit right now. Tough day, tough weekend. Yeah, it was tough out there. I had a lot of dinks. I got one keeper. That's all I got. That's it today? Yeah. It was rugged. Anyways, Michael, you're down. I only got three. Hey, an upgrade from yesterday. Yeah, I guess you could look at it like that, happy clown. <laughs> Do you have more fun today? Mm -mm. No? No, it's a mental struggle. You think you know how to catch fish and you know they're there and you can't get them to eat. I actually got on more fish today, like bites, but... Yeah, I got more bites today too. Nothing size. 14 inches are hard to come by. I swear there's not a small mouth in this lake that's over 13.75. 13.75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the ones I caught were like 13.75. Yeah, I caught like four and all of them were... 12 to 13 inches. Yeah, I mean, some people absolutely crushed it this weekend, so it just goes to show, even though we struggled, there's some there's good fish. There's a lot of good fishermen. Well, there's some yeah. good fish to be had out there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What'd you guys uh, overall recap of the weekend? I'll be honest with you, Rivers it's Edge. probably the worst fishing tournament weekend we've had. It, nah, I wouldn't go that far. All things all considered. Things. All Everything, I give the weekend a 100% and not being at work, but as a fishing tournament weekend, I give it a 42%. I'll go uh, grade. It's like my grades in high school. I'll go 72, oh, C minus. So you're optimistic. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got a, I got on the water for two days, so that yeah. was No, I know. I wasn't, that part wasn't yeah. included, I thought. I will give it you're a... Making a beer. The hamburger was good last night. Um, I'll give it a B minus. Terrible fishing, a couple of miscellaneous mishaps that will be in the outtakes probably forever. Maybe not. <laughs> I might release them one day. And then, I don't know. I don't know exactly. We talked about this at the beginning, the AOI standings, the race for the last last tournament toc at maloney's just down the road two-day event that'll be aoy finale and i definitely i definitely yeah. lost points I, mean, I lost ground so gonna have to pull, pull some serious heroics no one i have a huge fear the bite's gonna be like this in maloney's mm -hmm. which is two weeks from now it's the same lake no it's not well this water comes from there and so do the fish and they have friends that still live up there yeah. and they probably telepathically talk to them like hey sit on points by the hundreds but don't eat anything <laughs> yeah, well it's gonna be an interesting last event for the gambler series yeah one more left one more yeah, yeah cool yeah i'm probably not gonna do that one <laughs> yeah well i guess to a 42 percent weekend 42 percent there's uh, a <laughs> at least 58 for next time guys Jeez. see that math is pretty good huh? that's good math Great.